Welcome to Student Edsby Boot Camp. This is Roger Bright. Today we're going to go over setting up your distance learning folder, downloading files, and uploading files to Edsby using an iPhone or an iPad. Although it's less than ideal than using a desktop or a laptop, you can use an iPhone or iPad to store your school documents. One easy way to do this is with an app called Files. This is a standard app. Go to your search bar, type Files. You should see it under Applications. It may tell you that you need to install it. If so, please do so now. When you open Files, touch your finger anywhere in the white and try to scroll down. This will make the menu you see under the search bar appear. Tap the icon with the three horizontal dots that appears in the upper left corner. You're going to use this to create folders. This will cause the bottom menu to appear. Press New Folder to create a new folder. When the new folder appears, label it Distance Learning and press Done. You are now in your Distance Learning folder. You can create subfolders the same way you created your Distance Learning folder. Start by pressing the three horizontal dots. Press New Folder. Name the subfolders in accordance with your schedule by typing the period number first and then the class. This student has Algebra First Period, so their first subfolder is titled 01 Algebra. Yes, I want you to use the zero first. It looks neater. When you're finished typing, press Done. You'll now see your new subfolder in your Distance Learning folder. Repeat the process for the rest of your classes until you have subfolders for all of them. Congrats, that's it, you're done. Make sure that you notice where these folders are set up. Are they set up in the cloud? Are they set up on your phone? You'll need to know this information later. Now that you have your distance learning folder created, we're going to see how to download files into it using an iPhone or an iPad. Okay, first you need to open the Edsby app. Wait a second, Mr. Bright, I hear you say. You always said never use the Edsby app. You said the Edsby app was bad. I know, I know. But Edsby through the browser on an iPhone or an iPad won't let you do what you need to do this time. So use the Edsby app. To find a file that's embedded in an assignment, First, go to your classes by tapping the classes icon. Tap the class you want to view. Uh, we're going to go to civics. Here you see an assignment called test doc. Assignments will have the words homework or classwork along with an icon that looks like a graduate's mortar board and tassel. To access the assignment, tap the assignment's name, in this case test doc, or tap the submit button. In this case, the assignment was already submitted, so it says resubmit. The assignment will open up, and here you can see that there is an embedded Word document you need to download to complete the assignment. To download the Word document on your iPhone, press the documents icon on your screen. This will open up an image of the document, but you cannot interact with it. To be able to use the document, you must download it to your phone or your iPad and then open it using the Word app. To download it, press the icon with the arrow coming out of the box in the upper right corner. A screen similar to the one to the left will appear. Scroll down until you find an option that lets you save the files, then press it. Before you save it, I want you to rename it so it will be ready to be uploaded later. To rename, simply press on the name as it currently appears at the top. In this case, 229-12399 underscore test underscore doc. This will take you to a rename document screen. Backspace the old name and then type in the new one. In this case, when renaming the document, start with your last name and then your first name and then the name of the assignment. So here we have it as Bright Roger Test Doc. Once you've typed in the new name, press Done. 
After you've renamed the document, press the folder you want it saved to, in this case 03 Civics, and then press save in the upper right corner. That's it. Your file should now be saved to the Civics section of your distance learning folder. Next, we're going to see how to open your file in the Word app on an iPhone or an iPad. First, locate the Microsoft Word app on your phone or iPad and open it. You see the logo for Microsoft Word directly below the text box. Then press the Files app. The Files app will then ask me for a location. I created my distance learning folder on the iCloud, so I'll press that. This then opens my iCloud files where I can see and open my distance learning folder. Then my civics folder. Until it reveals the file I'm looking for. At this point, I just press on the file. Now that the document is open in Word, I can work on it. When I'm finished, it should autosave. To be sure the autosave feature is on, press the three horizontal dots in the upper right corner. If autosave isn't turned on, turn it on simply by sliding the slide next to the word autosave to the right and then press done. If you need to work on your document later, then open it the same way you did this time. If you're finished, then it's time to submit it to your teacher. In this next section, we'll cover how to submit the assignment you've created online to Edsby using an iPhone or an iPad. To submit your assignment, you need to go back to the assignment screen on Edsby where you downloaded your file in the first place. To access the file to upload, press the icon that looks like a piece of paper below the file you downloaded previously. This will give me several options and there is more than one way to retrieve the document, but it's easiest just to press Browse. At the bottom you'll see a button for Recents, which contains recently worked upon documents. Press that icon, and then press the document that you want to submit. You will now see that your file has appeared on the assignment screen as a Word document icon. Next, scroll down. If this is your first time entering a submission for the assignment, the blue button will say Submit. Just press the button to send it to your teacher. If you later find an error or want to send a different version, you can do so by following the same steps and pressing the blue button again, which now says Resubmit. Lastly, we'll cover how to submit an assignment online to Edsby that you created with pencil and paper. If your teacher has given you an assignment to be submitted online that you completed using a paper and pencil, that's easy to do. First, take a picture of the assignment. If it has two sides, take a picture of each side, if three, then three, and so on. Make sure your picture is in focus and that the entire document can be seen in your picture. After you take the picture, please crop it so the picture shows just the document. Do this by pressing Edit. Once you enter the Edit screen, locate the Crop icon. Move the white corners until only the paper part is showing in the image. Then press Done. To upload the assignment, go to the assignment on Edsby. Then press the paper icon on the assignment. This will open the window you see below. Press Photo Library to access the images of your assignment. Go to the album where you stored your images. Then select the images you want to upload to your teacher. When you've selected all the images you want, press the word Done in the upper right corner. You should see the images appear on the assignment screen in Edsby. To submit them, just press the blue Submit button. In this case, a document was already submitted, so the button says Resubmit. This allows you to send an updated version of an assignment if you find an error or want to do a better job. 
That's it from beginning to end. Download other files, follow the same steps. To use the files in other apps, such as PowerPoint, upload them to the app in a similar fashion. I hope this video helped you out. Good luck with your distance learning. Remember, we're all in this together.